Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' simulations and this one today is called Templates Galore. It's submitted by the user OCSE744 in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in this simulation. There's a picture of it as well that he put with the uh, upload so I can already see some of the objects in it and it looks really really cool. I've actually asked him if I could actually save some of these to use in my own stuff because these look really really cool. So I've seen the picture, I briefly opened the simulation, just have a quick peek before I started filming this, I just wanted to have a real little look, but I haven't really gone into detail looking at the stuff, so without further ado, let's go into this. So I want to see what this is all about. So I had a brief look just to see this here, but I haven't really gone and zoomed in on any yet, but here it is, and look at this, look how many there are, they've all got really, really cool looking designs from first glance, let's put them in chart mode, let's get them all lined up properly here, so here we go. Okay, so yeah, like I said, um, I can use these. I did ask permission to use these because I've got an upcoming uh, little channel anniversary to do. So some of these can be very, very useful in there, but stay tuned. But anyways, let's go through them all. So first one here, nice traditional looking gas shine here. I really like the mix of the light yellow mixed with the darker. Almost like a brown dwarf kind of looking kind of object. But it looks like a great sort of regular gas shine to use as well. I really like that. Got more of a nice giant uh, variant as well. Looking good. We've got a very, very dark coloured one with a golden sort of appearance. I like that. Got more of an ice giant as well. You can almost see a two-tone. I can see negative contrast. Almost like the little dark spot effect there moving with the camera. So that's pretty awesome. Set off labels. There you go. Uh, we've got this one here as well. Ooh. There we go. And yes, yeah, so all of these have got over 8,000 bands. So if I go to, say, visuals. So for every single object, if I press this button here... The game immediately freezes, but there you go. That's the reason why. Look at all that. And I will literally drag the side down here. Look at this. That's a lot of bands. And every single one of these has that many bands as well. That is absolutely crazy. So here you go. So we've got two quite similar looking ones there. They're very, very similar. Oh, I, I like this one. It's like a blue Jupiter almost. That is really cool, actually. I really like that. That is a sweet looking... I want to say it's an ice giant. But it's like a blue Jupiter with the way he's done the bands there. That looks really good, actually. I really like that. We've got a more very hot-looking uh, gas giant here. Let's actually add a bit of temperature to that. See, if it, see how it looks when you throw a little bit of temperature in. Let's open it up. Let's go with, say, 500. Add a little extra heat effect to it. But I think maybe around... Yeah, oh, yes. That looks pretty. Maybe around 500. Yeah. Get that little heat glow on it. That looks really good. Uh, we've got this one here. Next one up. Probably best I keep the menu shut because it seems to be a little more laggy keeping it open with all those bands. So here we go. It's got a purpley one here, so that's quite a nice one. We've got a more greenish looking shade. I like it. Okay. Another sort of maybe a more brown dwarf kind of object to use. We've got another more traditional orangey looking gas shine here. Good exoplanet used one there. There you go. Oh, we've got an actual Jupiter looking one there. Look at that. Looks very similar to Jupiter. Hey. Very nice. So we got. More and more. Okay. Oh, I really like the band's composition on that one. If you just zoom in on this area here. Look at all this. That's really wild. Got a purple one. Green and blue. Very, very interesting. Look how many more we got to do. There's we got some darker ones here. Looking good. Okay. There you go. Oh, I like that one. That one's looking good. Go more greyish, sort of almost a greeny grey kind of shade there. More traditional to a darker browns. So we've got some more browns. Some of these would be really, really great to use for realistic looking gas shines. I have to say, they look really, really good. More of a greenish one there again as well. Then we've got some more uh, darker browns and greys mixed in there. This one here, very more bland kind of gas shine. But you can see it's got that negative contrast dark spot effect on it. Looking pretty cool. Now, a lot of people have asked about this. So, the only way to achieve this is you have to change the files. You can't do this in-game. Because I know a lot... I have had some people messaging me in the comments recently. And I've told them the same thing, really. Uh, you have to mod the files. You need to download a program called 7-Zip. You can open individual object files there. And then you can change characteristics or change the numbers in the file. Which can give you unique appearances like this. And then the, the tints and stuff. And the negative contrast. There, they're probably the two major things that you can't do in the game at the moment. But yeah, you have to uh, download that. There's a tutorial up on the channel if you want to see a very basic primitive version. But it shows the principles of how to mod 
so definitely check that video out if you haven't seen that as well it's a, it's a playlist for it on the channel it's two parts of a uh, rocky and gas giant customization but quite primitive but if you have a real experimentation with the files you can find the uh the good stuff because i only have a very very low knowledge of how to mod but a lot of people give me insights so i know roughly what no a way around the files but it does get quite complex at first glance but it isn't as bad as it looks uh, anyways moving on oh i like this one as well that's a nice looking uh more of a colder icy giant kind of one i like that so a lot of, a lot of browns and grays color theme here this one's very dark isn't it oh wow we the blacked out gas shine that'd be like a cool trays 2b almost appearance there with the uh with a little more black thrown in there you go, more of a pink one. Oh, I like this one. That's a nice looking nice one. That reminds me of one of my, um, one of the ones I have already. The Epsilon Erdani. Uh, where is it? Which one is it? I've got so many versions of it. But it's very, very similar to one I have, actually. Is it, is it, is it that one? It is. Yeah, there you go. It reminds me of this guy. It's very similar. And it, look at that. Hey, there you go. As soon as I saw that object, I was like, yeah, it looks like this guy, doesn't it? There you go. a little comparison between the two. Very similar colour palette, but it is very, very different as well. Look at that. It's a nice shade, though. It's a really, really good-looking planet. I like that. There you go. This one again, a nice sort of darker-looking ice giant as well. Really, really cool. Another regular gas giant there. Looking good. Oh, I like this one as well. The blue and the purple. Look on that. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. I really like that. Got a greener one as well. Another purple shade. Very, very nice. Oh, the cust the amount of how the amount of time that went into making all of these must be absolutely crazy. There's been hours and hours. I mean even making one object alone can take hours from what people have told me in the past. But you made sixty of these? That's a lot of time. That's like a year's worth of work, right? <laughs> that's crazy. Well, there you go. Ooh, this one the yellow and the blue. That's a nice theme. I like that. That's different. That's fresh. I like that. Got another green and greyish or green brownish kind of shade there. And we've got a more traditional sort of deeper orange and red kind of appearance. And you've got more pale satin-like. I like it. This one here is an interesting mix of like a light cream and a dark sort of greens and blues mixed in there as well. It's quite a unique appearance. We've got Salvi again. So a lot of Salvi names. Um, there you go. Another bluish turquoisey shade there. Got a pink and cream one. Enhanced purple one there. Looks like it may have... Slightly more reflectiveness to it there. Very nice. Got a green and blue sort of mix there. Blue at the bottom, green at the top. More, more turquoise at the top. Green in the middle kind of looking guy there. There you go. Got blues and greys. More uh, brownish world there. That one's very similar to a custom satin. I like that. That one looks good. And then the final object, this brownish one here. So there you go. That is the full lineup of all these guys. So there we go. But I think my favourite ones are definitely the ones up here. I like this one, the Blue Jupiter. I really like that. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna dub it the Blue Jupiter. Oh, it looks so good. It's actually, I'll put it next to my existing custom Jupiter as a little comparison. So there's the, uh, oh yeah. Is it just me? It sees that. It, you know, it, it, it looks like a Blue Jupiter. I'll make it bigger, just to, or make, we'll make Jupiter smaller, just to. To line up with it but it looks like it looks like a jupiter to me it really really does so we'll make, we'll make the jupiter smaller here and we'll put them next to each other so there you go so a little more like that there you go so put them there you can see like the blue bands are the equivalent of the darker orange bands on jupiter then it's got like the lighter blue paler shades it's got negative contrast on it it looks so good that's my favorite that's easy my favorite one in here. it looks it just looks cool the blue variant of jupiter i like it it looks good so there you go, there's that one. So I, I like that one. That one's cool. I like this one as well, the very sort of like almost brown dwarf looking world. That's really, really cool. This one obviously as well, the, the sort of hot looking glowing one, that's cool. I like that. Uh, what else was it? I, I like... I like that one. That one's really cool. And these are my personal favorite. They're all really cool, but these are the ones I really, really stand out to me. So we'll go from all again. There's the grey the gray set. Lots of greys. I like that one as well. That's that's really cool. Again, just the, the the nice ice giant looking appearances, all the different mixes of colours. That one especially, that one's really good. The greener ones, I mean, the green's different. Is it the most realistic looking appearance? So, I mean, debatable, but you know, it's not my personal favourite cup of tea, really. But it's, it's all right. I know I quite like that version of the green. I think that one stands out quite nicely. 
Uh, there you go. Uh, there's the sort of dark, deeper blue with a negative contrast as well. That's cool. This one here reminds me of a space engine gas shine. I like that. It's different with the purple and the blues mixed in. I think that's really, really nice uh, combo there. Uh, down here too, we've got more of the pinks and purple shades. Again, that green one there, that one, I like that. This one here I really like as well. That one there, the very deep, traditional looking colours of a gas shine. That's pretty cool. I like that. Towards the end here, we've got this deep one. That was kind of similar to the blue Jupiter, but a little more blue, I think, is thrown in there. So I think out of all the ones, I think they're my, probably my personal favourites. We'll put them sort of all together. Put them all here. Move those guys forwards. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Maybe we might just shine. There you go. So I think these here, this sort of set here, I think these are the real, these are my personal favourite. I think these are like the elite ones of the collection. We've kind of put them in a little like colour order, I guess, but something like that. Put the deeper blue, put the greens in the middle, then we'll fade into the blue. But I think, yeah, these guys in particular are my personal favourites out of this set. And I have to say, very, very nice job to the curator of this because these are seriously, seriously cool. And I'm hoping to include, I, I want to include these in this year's upcoming science comparison. Stay tuned. If you know the history on this channel, you'll know exactly what day it will come out. But if you don't, then stay tuned. That's the uh, little secret of everything. But there you go. So, yeah, those two are quite similar, aren't they? Looks good. That's obviously, that's the blue Jupiter. And you can see the other one very similar to it. But without the negative contrast appearance on it as well. But yeah, there you go. So there, there's a, there's the lineup. They're my personal sort of favourites out of the full list. But what do you guys think? Are my opinions completely wrong? Let me know. Let me know what you think. But yeah, go. That's um that's my favourite sort of list out of all these guys. But yeah, if that all send on everybody, I hope you've enjoyed today's video as well. Again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, uh, OCSE744, for sending in this simulation. Appreciate it. Really enjoyed that, looking through them all as well. And yeah, it's nice to have a refreshing simulation. It's been probably years since someone sent a simulation just of stuff to like check out. You know, no system, just complete um, stuff to look at. I really, really like that. But yeah, that all said and done. Massive thank you indeed again. Thank you for watching, everyone. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well, guys. And with that all said and done, make sure you stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.